to learn everyone's names, but people I did get to meet, it was a pleasure meeting you. I wish you a good rest of your summer and a good um, rest of your education career. And thank you, Professor Scott, for teaching us the ways of speaking. Alright, well, let's see if you learned anything. Suck up. <laughs> you should suck up. Yeah, suck up before, not after, right?
off the war, he saw a burning cross in the sky, and it said, by this sign conquered. He did win this battle, and he thus converted all of Rome to Christianity. And he brought along his cross, which was the Chi Ro, the first two initials of Christ's name, Chiro Christo, which is the one on the left. So we see that the cross, in fact, did not even originate with Christianity. So, considering that, that there's no solid proof that Jesus Christ was held upon a perpendicular, two perpendicular beams, and that the ancient Christians were told to flee from idolatry, and that the actual cross predates Christianity, Christianity by thousands of years, this causes doubt for people, and is why true Christians do not use a cross in worship. Now, as you may have known, or as you probably know now, there is a, pre a plethora of information regarding the subject, and I urge all of you, if you're interested, to research this topic, and if you're a Christian, to reconsider your connection with the cross. And I hope that my speech has enlightened some of you, has told you the history, and I hope that the rest of your summer is awful. Awful. <laughs>